living, yeah, we're living on the word of God. When you see it rolling into your neighborhood, come taste and see that the Lord is good. This is a food truck party. This is a food truck party. This is a food truck party. Maybe I should ask it differently. Why are we doing this? Because I'm trying to get to famous. More people will come out to our food truck tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, that totally makes sense. People are going to get on their phones and see that you're probably the worst dancer in the world. And they'll think th to themselves, wow, look at this guy. I want to buy food from him. Good plan, Chef Ray. I don't see anything wrong here at all. Exactly. Wait, hold on. Are my dance moves really that bad? Is this a bad idea? Well, I guess you're not the worst dancer I've ever seen, but there's a better way to bring people to our food truck, of course. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'm willing to try anything. Do you have any ideas? Um, not really. I'm out of ideas, but maybe the explorers can help us. Should we ask them since they're already here? Oh, well, uh, hey there, explorers. How, um, how long have you been there? Uh, what all did you see? Do you think we should be honest and tell them that we saw everything? I don't think so. I don't want to embarrass them too bad. Good idea. Oh, we haven't been here long. We didn't really see anything. Are you kidding? We've been here the whole time. In fact, I've got all of Chef Ray's dance moves on video. Uh, but, but don't worry, Chef Ray. I'm going to delete the videos. Nobody will see them. Thanks, Carter. I appreciate that. So, how's the food truck? What adventure are we going on today? Well, so far we've came up with a name for the food truck. Yep. On a roll. And we've decided to serve chicken sandwiches. I'm so excited for a chicken sandwich. <laughs> the truck has had its oil change. Okay, yep, and remember the truck needs motor oil, not olive oil. You can really damage the engine if you mix those two up. Don't worry, I won't be forgetting that anytime soon. Now where was I? Oh yeah, and yesterday the health inspector stopped by and gave us a thumbs up, which means we can legally start selling food. We need to make sure we keep this place clean and healthy so we don't get anyone sick. What was that for? I'm just making sure you're clean. I think everyone looks clean enough. Maybe you should put that bottle away for me. But I like your spirit. Today we have another important task for you. You're going to have to get creative. I'm talking about singing and dancing in front of a camera. You know, making videos for social media? Um, I'm not really comfortable being in front of cameras. Dude, you're on camera right now. We're filming a kid's show, remember? Oh yeah, you're right, okay. I guess I'm down for anything. Great, today your mission is to advertise the food truck. We need you to make sure people know that our food truck is in town and invite them to come see us tomorrow. We want a big crowd at the food truck party. Advertise? I don't think any of us know how to do that. That's okay, because I know somebody who does. She has helped me through parties back when I was a full-time DJ. I know she can help us spread the word about our food truck. Sounds good to me. Where can we find her? On the internet. So, she's not a real person? No, she's definitely real. She's an influencer on social media. It's the easiest way to find her on the internet. Okay, so how can we talk to her? Don't worry, I've set up an online class so you can all see her and talk to her right here from the garage. All we need is a laptop. 
Uh, Chef Ray, where's the laptop? All right, let me go get it. While he's off finding a laptop, how about you check out the song I put together for you today? You know, this doesn't much feel like an adventure. It feels kind of lame. This is the future, Carter. Everybody's online. Plus, this way we don't have to wander around town trying to find somebody. Well, I I'm happy we get a chance to sit still for a little bit. All this walking has made my feet sore. What's taking so long? I thought she would have answered by now. Maybe our computer isn't working? Oh wait, no, the computer's fine. I just brought the turn it on. Parker. Sorry guys, it should work now. Hey you guys, you must be the explorers DJ Cupcake told me about. It's good to finally meet you. Oh no, DJ Cupcake told you about us? I hope he didn't tell you too much. No, no, no. He only said good things, although he was a little bummed that you didn't think Ray's Cabbage Cart was a good name for the food truck. I have to say though, I think it was a bad name also. No one likes cabbage that much, unfortunately. Yeah, DJ Cupcake has some pretty bad ideas. Yeah, I agree, but he did have one good idea and that was about your need for advertising. But we don't know anything about advertising. Plus, why is it important since we know people will be at the food truck party? I'm sure they'll just walk up to our truck. Never underestimate the power of spreading the good news, and the fact that your food truck will be at the party is awesome news. But here's the thing. You won't be the only food truck at the food truck party. You need to get the word out early so people will come looking for you first before they buy from anyone else. Oh, I know. I can stand outside of the food truck doing a dance like this to draw people's attention. I like that idea, but you might be too late by the time people see you. We want to reach them before the food truck party to get them so excited. So what do you suggest we do? How about I share a story with you and you can tell me what it teaches about spreading the good news. John chapter 21 describes a wonderful story of restoration. Only three chapters earlier, Peter had denied even knowing Jesus, and he'd done that three times. Sometime after Jesus rose from the dead, Peter was sitting on the shore at the Sea of Galilee. This was the same shore where Jesus first called him to become a fisher of people. Maybe he was thinking about all of this because all of a sudden he announced, hey, I'm going fishing. His six friends thought it was a good idea and decided to go with him. All night long they fished and fished and fished and caught nothing, absolutely nothing. When the sun came up the next morning, they saw a man on the shore cooking over a fire. The man yelled out to them, Hey, have you caught anything? No, they answered. The man answered, Arr, then toss your nets off the starboard side. That's the right side of the boat for all you land lovers. <sighs> Apparently, fish love the starboard side, because although the men fished all night and caught nothing, 
When they tossed their net on the right side of the boat, they caught some fish. How many fish did they catch? Well, I'm glad you asked. They caught a lot of fish, 153 to be exact. There were so many fish that the seven men could not pull in the net. One of the men on the boat finally recognized the man on the shore. Jesus, it, it was Jesus. As soon as Peter heard that name, he jumped in the water. The water must have been cold because Peter made sure he put on his coat before jumping in. He swam all the way to shore, leaving his friends to drag the full net behind the boat. When Peter got to shore, he smelled a familiar smell, a charcoal fire. The only other time a charcoal fire is mentioned in the Bible is the very night that Peter denied knowing Jesus. Jesus told Peter to bring some of their newly caught fish to cook over the fire. Apparently, Peter was super pumped up about the breakfast menu because he jumped in the water and drug the full net to shore all by himself. After eating the hearty breakfast, Jesus asked Peter if he loved him. Yes, you know I love you. Then feed my lambs. Jesus asked Peter again, Do you love me? Again, Peter said, Yes, you know I love you. Take care of my sheep. A third time, Jesus asked if Peter loved him. Sad that Jesus kept asking, Peter said, Yes, then feed my sheep. It wasn't that Jesus was hard of hearing. Jesus wanted to give Peter three opportunities to confirm his love for Jesus after denying knowing Jesus three times earlier. Jesus showed Peter that God provides for us even when we fail and is always ready to forgive and give us our daily bread. And that is great news. And that is just how it happened in the Bible. Well, did you guys see anything that might help you spread the word about your food truck? That taught me that people love to go fishing. So maybe we should advertise with fish. I think that idea stinks. <laughs> I learned that you should always put on a coat before jumping in the water. So you don't get a cold, of course. And I learned that the Bible only talks about barbecue two times. Hum. Well, those aren't exactly the answers I had in mind, but those are some interesting observations at least. What did you think about the story? Well, did you notice how many times Jesus asked Peter the question? Jesus asked Peter the same question three times. Seems a little weird to me since Peter answered him each time. Right, Jesus asked Peter the same question three times. He asked Peter if he loved Jesus. That's what you need to do when you advertise your food truck. We need to ask people if they love us? No, no, no. You need to repeat the important information to them. People aren't always the best listeners, and sometimes we need to hear something several times to remember it. So you need to make sure people hear about your food truck a lot so they don't forget about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What did you say? See, that's my point. Jesus asked Peter if he loved him three times because Jesus wanted Peter to see that loving God is important. So you all need to tell people about your food truck as much as possible so they know it's important to you. Oh, that makes sense. Just repeat the important information so people don't forget it. So how should we do that? Try making it fun. Take a video of telling people about your food truck while you do a dance or something. The more fun it is, the easier it is for people to listen and remember. Okay, I know we can do that. We're pretty fun and I know Chef Ray has some dance moves. Let's get back to the garage. Thank you for talking with us and helping us out. You've got it. Have fun and good luck. Well, what did you learn from our favorite media star? We learned that when we tell people about our food truck, we should repeat important information. Repeat important information. We don't want people to miss our food truck. 
So we need to let them know that we will be at the food truck party. We will be at the food truck party. Carter, what are you doing? I'm just repeating the important things that Alistair says. Okay, why though? For two reasons. One, the lady on the internet told us to repeat important things. And two, she told us a story about Jesus repeating important things to his disciples so they wouldn't forget what to do. Oh, okay, I like the effort, but save it for the actual advertisements, please. You don't have to repeat everything to us. She also told us that making a dance video could be a fun way to tell people about our food truck. It's your time to shine, Chef Ray! I knew it! I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. What do I need to do? Well, you definitely need to let them know where they can find us. And you should let them know the name of our food truck and what we sell. And don't forget to tell them why we sell the food. We want to share the love just like Jesus did, by feeding people. Oh, I can't wait! This will be the most memorable video yet. People are going to come to our food truck from all over town. Let's get started soon. But before we get started with the video, let's do our daily prayer. Can you remember what our prayer has been so far? Oh, I know. It's God is great and God is good. Let us thank God for our food. Amen. Yep, that's right. But don't forget that we have to add it to it today. We want to feed people with our food trucks, but don't forget who provides that food. It's God. So today, we are adding the phrase, by God's hands, we're all fed. Do you think we can put it all together? All right, you guys, let's pray. God is great. God is good. Let us thank God for our food. By God's hands, we're all fed. Amen. All right, Explorers, I think DJ Cupcake and I can make a fun video on our own, so you're free to go. Keep an eye out for our food truck, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.